So Chocolatito always calm in the fire as he gets set to defend his newly won WBA Super Flyweight World Championship. Nicaragua's own Chocolatito Gonzalez, 33 years old, five foot three, 114 pounds. Gonzalez, Israel Gonzalez, three inches taller, Sergio, and will have a seven inch reach advantage. Not what he once was, but can he be once what he was tonight here against Israel, nicknamed Giga, who's wearing the black and gold. Gonzalez pressing the issue here. Nice straight right hand. That's what Gonzalez, that's what Chocolatito does well here. He has great timing and he shifts. He's a shifty fighter. He doesn't have to switch southpaw, but he gets angles on you and he starts the combinations from there. It's a nice uppercut there from Gonzalez. No, he's doing really well fighting backwards. Israel Gonzalez is. It's going to be hard for Chocolatito to get on the inside if he's going to be dealing with that kind of one-twos from Gonzalez. And you could see Chocolatito had no interest in getting tied up there. He wants to keep those hands moving. And a left hook there from Chocolatito. They are letting their fists fly here in the second round. Look at that combination. Nice little five or six punch sequence. And he's doing it with speed, not power. That's exactly what Israel Gonzalez's corner wants. Here's what Chocolatito does his best work, coming forward and getting angles on his opponent. Good start to the third round for Chocolatito, whose pressure has been unrelenting. And that's what makes him so great. That's what makes him Chocolatito. It's the pressure and how he shifts his angle so subtly to the left and to the right, non-stop with combinations. Oh, the exchange hooks. And I don't know, Israel Gonzalez right now not moving as much, content just to slug it out. Is that a wise strategy? No, it is not. He needs to stay off the ropes. This is a really good round for Chocolatito, and it's because Gonzalez can, can't continue moving laterally with that much pressure. In this weight class, Sergio, there's always a lot of punches being thrown and landed, but the punches hurt a little bit more when they're coming from Chocolatito as Gonzalez snaps the head of the legend. It's and a now good, he's having a moment here. Great back and forth action from both fighters right here. This is becoming a vintage performance for the 33-year-old. Vintage, that was the word I was looking for, not prime Chocolatito, vintage, and flashbacks of the greatness and what makes Chocolatito great. Just the fact that he can throw this many punches with this kind of accuracy is really incredible for a man who's been in 51 fights. Because he fights so calmly, Todd, he fights loose. He doesn't fight tight. It's not. He's not trying to really put too much behind those punches. He just. He's just an excellent all-around aggressive fighter, but with intelligence. It's our artistic aggression. And you know what? Israel Gonzalez may be ready to go here. You can see Chocolatito's corner just kind of wave him in, waving him in, saying, "Keep going." And if you didn't know Sergio, either one of these guys, you turn this on, you're thinking. Which one's the 23-year-old, which one's the 33-year-old? Exactly, because the, the pressure, the constant pressure is coming from the older fighter, the experienced fighter in Chocolatito. Does he maybe say bite down on the mouthpiece like he's doing right now and, and he's scoring? And that's what I just said, you gotta mix it up. Right there he lands a clean right hand and those are solid shots by Israel Gonzalez. You're gonna have to mix it up with this legend. Is this Custer's last stand, so to speak? Gonzalez has been getting worked the past four rounds. The work rate is just incredible for the 33-year-old. He's outworking a man 10 years his junior. See, this is where the fast oh, hands. Oh, there's a right hand that connected for Israel Gonzalez. This is where the fast hands of Israel Gonzalez come into play, the shoe shines. That can give him some momentum if he just concentrates on speed and not power. 
think a body shot from Chocolatito slowed him down there. This is a good run for Israel Gonzalez. Shoe shining, Chocolatito. He just doesn't have enough output, Sergio. Hard to deny what Chuck Latito is doing tonight against a very capable challenger. It's a good round by Israel Gonzalez here. Good rounds aren't going to cut it. He needs a knockout round. Or at least a knockdown round. Three minutes to go. Israel Gonzalez, the challenger, Chocolatito, the champion, and one of the all-time great champions. And let's see if Gonzalez is going to try and go out on a shield. He's got nothing to lose. Israel trying to dig deep, find a second wind. Two minutes to go. Chocolatito, I think, looking for the KO as well. None of those punches landing for Israel Gonzalez. Chocolatito answering back. That one lands for Israel. Left hand lands for Israel, he tries to wave Chocolatito in. He needs the legend to exchange with him to have any shot at putting him down. Good body shot there from Chocolatito. Good final round. Israel Gonzalez may be good, Sergio, but he's not great. And you gotta be great to beat the legend that is Chocolatito, who defends his title in style, a vintage performance for the 33-year-old. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has gone the distance of 12 rounds, and now we go to the judges' scoring cards. Damas y caballeros, este combate se ha ido la distancia de 12 asaltos, por lo tanto, nos vamos con la decisión de los jueces. Fuerte aplauso al Giga González, Chocolatito González, por este combate. El juez, Judge Fernando Barbosa, he scores it 118 to 110. El juez, Abraham Ibarra, 116 to 112. Y el juez, Humberto Olivares, 117 to 111, 117 a 111. Los tres jueces coinciden. Por lo tanto, su vencedor por la vía la decisión unánime. Your winner by the way of unanimous decision. And he's still the WBA super flyweight champion of the world. A un campeón mundial peso super mosca AMB. Managua, Nicaragua está presente. Roma, el chocolatito González.